Okay guys, uh, this is going to be a video of my Altoid Survival Tin and the contents inside of it. Um, as I said in a previous video, um, what's in my Maxpedition Fatty video, um, this Altoids Tin is in my Maxpedition Fatty. And I said I would do a separate video for that, so let's get to it. On the outside I have large rubber bands. And that's really to keep this thing closed. And let's get to the inside contents. Okay. <clears throat> we'll get to the lid part here in a minute. Let's get to the stuff that's inside. So inside of here I have a whistle. Pretty flat whistle. Um, I forget who actually makes this. ACR. CR whistle. Okay, it's pretty loud. And then I have in here, this is a uh, one of the wire saws, survival saws, and it has two um, large rings that attach to these swivels, which are in the bottom of my uh, tin here, which you'll see. It's just hard to have this in here all together, but it's in the bottom of my tin, and I'll show you that. I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, the next thing you see is this is tinder quick and it's sealed inside of a straw uh, to keep it dry. And this is just regular tinder quick. Then I have my uh, nano flashlight. Um, this is uh, 10 lumens. Um, pretty bright little guy. Um, perfect for the survival tin uh, for the size and bright enough to do pretty much anything that I need to. Next I have a uh, credit card cut here with a uh, fishing line on here. A ton of, uh, a lot of fishing line. I don't know how many feet or yards is on here, but quite a bit. And I have one loose timber quick, uh, which I just had room for and threw in there. small mini compass which uh, is actually working pretty good right now <laughs> uh, one birthday candle a uh, pack of like uh, matches uh, not a pack this is uh, actually uh, four matches and it's inside of a straw so it's waterproof Then I have some wire, used for snares or whatever. You need to construct the shelter or whatever. There's quite a bit of wire here. And then I have in here two toothpicks. Then I have a couple of ibuprofen. Okay. And those are the rings I was talking about earlier for the wire saw. Uh, these are the rings. I can just put them on there. Then I have a, this is cotton and uh, soaked in Vaseline, which is inside of a straw, which remains waterproof. You can also use this for fire starting. And I have a couple of nails. Okay, pretty heavy duty. And I think this is the, it is the Spiderco Honeybee, uh, which is extremely sharp. Fits in here well. The grasshopper, I, I don't know if the grasshopper would fit in here or not, but uh, I'm using the grasshopper for something else. So the Honeybee Spiderco fits in here well. It's a nice sharp blade. And there is also a safety pin in here and then uh, a couple of band-aids <coughs> on the bottom here now if I can get to the top on the top I have a piece of duct tape and below that 
below that I have one top of the tape here, a couple of fishing hooks, um, uh, kind of a barrette holder type little piece of wire here, and then I have these three eyelets which I can screw on to a stick to kind of make a uh, makeshift fishing rod with some line going through these. And then for the matches, I have a striker uh, for the matches. And that all stays on the top of the survival tent. Um, so the one thing I don't have in here is a lighter, um, but I do have matches and I normally have a lighter on me at all times. Um, usually always have a lighter. So, um, you know, the matches are in here anyway. And then obviously the bottom of this tin which still has powder in it. Uh, it's pretty shiny and can be used for signaling. Uh, not the best reflection but it's better than nothing. So that is my survival tin and uh, appreciate uh, any comments or suggestions, uh, anything else that you guys would add or um, that's it. So please feel rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, whatever. And uh, thanks for your time, guys. I really enjoyed doing this video.